First off, uh, congrats to Tanner and Andrew uh, on the Golden Helmet Award. You know, as a defensive coach, I think it's pretty cool to have two defensive players here uh, winning the Golden Helmet Award, nothing against the, uh, the offensive guys in the room. Um, but, but a great honor for both of you, congrats. Um, this past weekend, we, we traveled out to AIC uh, in Springfield um, and just really, you know, did not start the game the way we needed to. Um, you know, we, uh, they had the ball first, we went three and out. Uh, they punted to us, but we fumbled the punt, uh, and they recovered it with a short field on the 25-yard line going in. Um, we were able to hold them to a field goal, uh, and then the next drive, uh, fourth and inches, we are a rugby-style punt team, and our punter tried to, uh, tried to be a hero and uh, tried to fake the punt, um, and they were able to get a stop um, and, and, again, create the short field for their offense. Uh, we were fortunate enough to get a goal line stand on fourth down, um, and uh, a couple of plays later, our offense is able to, to get a first down. Uh, and then fourth and inches kind of rolled around again. And I uh, was coaching a little bit, I think, with my, uh, with my guts instead of my brain. And we decided to go for it. Their defense answered the call and got a stop. And they were able to, to punch another touchdown in the short field. So before we know it, it's 10-0. And, um, and really, it was a battle you know, from, from there on out. Um, you know, we were able to outgain them. Uh, offensively, you know, our, our running game has, has been very consistent. It's been our most reliable, you know, part of our offense, uh, really the most reliable part of our team. Um, you know, Mike Cordova is a sophomore running back from Red Bank Catholic High School in New Jersey. Um, you know, ha had another uh, consistent day. He, he averages 90 yards a game rushing for us. Um, and we just made some costly mistakes in, in the red zone area. You know, we, we fumbled a ball. We, we threw an interception in the end zone. Um, you know, it was just a, a situation where we didn't win the field, you know, the, the, the field battle, you know, field position battle against a, a really good defense. Um, you know, looking ahead to, to this week, uh, we're playing a, a very good, very talented uh, university, a New Haven team at home Saturday night. Um, it's actually going to be live streamed on the Watch ESPN app on ESPN3, so we're very excited to have that opportunity um, against a very tough, very talented conference opponent. Um, you know, they have uh, probably one of the best <laughs> offensive lines that we've seen in a while. Uh, they, they rotate seven or eight guys on the offensive line, so they're very talented, very deep there. And, uh, and their running back is one of the best offensive players, I think, in the conference. Um, so they're a very talented team. They don't make a lot of mistakes offensively, um, and, and they're able to, to get after you with their athletes defensively and, and special teams. So we're going to have our hands full. Um, but, uh, you know, credit to our guys. We continue to practice hard, prep, you know, prepare the way we need to prepare. Um, you know, we're just still seeking to play consistent football in all three phases, you know, for, for a whole, whole four quarters. So, um, you know, if we do that, you know, in this league, it's, it's competitive week in and week out. So uh, we're excited for the challenge. We're excited for the opportunity to host them uh, on a national stage. Um, and, again, best of luck to everybody. And congrats again to the Golden Knights.